Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Today I'm going to be continuing along with my virtual machines on Azure series. And um, I thought I would address something that can come up fairly often um, if you've just got a basic Hadoop installation. And um, I've got that right now. I've got it, my name node is running, my data node is running. It's just a single node cluster. So what you're going to see is something like this uh, when you investigate what nodes are available. And when I click here, this is often what happens, okay? It doesn't know where name node.internal.cloud.net is. And that's fair enough. It's an internal reference because inside my cluster, it knows exactly what to do. So if I was logged into a computer inside that cluster, it would know exactly where that, that DNS is. But I'm outside my cluster. And what I need to do is redirect Windows to where it should go so that it points to a public address. All right. Now, if I go to my virtual machines over here, and we'll just close this for a moment here, I can see that I have two public IP addresses. All right. Now it's important to recognize how these work. So if I click on name node, which is essentially what I'm going to be um, uh, logging into right now, um, I can type the IP address here and put it in and I know that it's on port 9870 that's the node that I'm, I can I can log into but this is a little bit freaky uh, you know it's a little difficult to work with and um, it'd be better if I could work with the the actual name like this okay so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to tell Windows how to redirect me to the proper space okay now the way we do that is we're going to load up a notepad um, instance with uh, a, a, with a, a administrative privileges. Now this is important here to do. Um, I like Notepad++, but you can use Notepad anytime. So I'm gonna load up Notepad++. Again, the difference is, is negligible. You don't have to worry too much about which text editor you're using. Uh, click Run as Administrator. Once I get to the screen, you'll put into in, in any of your um, your user credentials. And usually, if you're just using a non-business computer, uh, you can just type in your your user credentials, and you're in. Most of the time, you're already an administrator. For me, I'm I'm an administrator, but I'm on a business computer, so I have to put in my uh, my credentials here that allow me to do that. So I'm going to do that, and I'll return in a moment. Okay. So here we are, we are uh, logged into uh, Notepad as administrator or Notepad++ as administrator. And I can now edit that file. Okay, this is called the hosts file. It gives you a bunch of examples here. And essentially all it's saying is that if you type in this IP address, uh, this is the DNS that it's related to. Right, so if I typed in rhino.acme.com, it should bring me to something, but in this case, uh, it probably doesn't know what that is. So, uh, and just like our uh, our node doesn't know what name node.internal.cloud app is, um, we're going to tell it that right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a couple things here. I'm going to copy that uh, DNS. And I'm going to go back into my notepad and just paste it here. Now I'm going to go back to this to the first first character of that line, and we're going to also get the public IP address. Okay, so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here and just put a tab. Okay, so that's essentially what that means. Now you can you can also add an alias uh, to this it's not really necessary but um, you, there is also a public dns for this so i have name node.cloudease.cloudapp.azure.com um, so if i typed in that it would bring me to a uh, uh, a space on that server so what we can do right now, though, is if I save this, and one of the great things about Windows is we don't have to do any restarting uh, of the, uh, the the service, whereas on Linux, I would have to restart the, uh, the service. So on here, um, now that I've plugged that in, 
you'll remember before when I clicked on this it gave me an error so if I click on this now it now knows exactly where that is okay so we've just told it how to find this this node right here okay let me just highlight that this DNS got a terrible mouse today there we go so that is uh, exactly where I would be pointing to now externally that DNS doesn't exist but internally on my Windows machine it does so now we've learned how to uh, redirect Windows to an IP address that is public thanks a lot guys have a great day hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and send your comments to me thanks a lot bye bye